Hello everybody, my name is Chris, and welcome back to more of The Witcher 3. On the last episode, we did a lot of Gwent. It was a lot of Gwent. It was Gwent like every every five minutes there was some Gwent. We were thrown down with one person or the other. Uh, we even threw down with the Baron, and we beat him on the second round. We didn't even get to round three. I'm sorry, that just feels like such an achievement. That's so cool, especially he's in charge of the Crows. Uh... The, the the Gwent Club up here, it's it's like, you know, he's pretty good, and he was. He was, but he made mistakes, and his mistakes cost him his victory. But, before we had thrown down with some Gwent against the Baron, we told him about our lead on Tamara, and her being an Oxenfurt. And that's exactly what we're doing right now. That's the next thing we're going to do. Um... We will not be wrapped up in Gwent again, at least right away in this episode. So, I mean, if there's if there's Gwent along the way, I mean, what are we going to do? But we're going to go to Oxenfurt this time, and it is quite a ways away. We are here. Oxenfurt is all the way over here. So that is, that is a distance. That is a while away. See, even if we fast travel to here, that's still a distance. It's crazy. She got far. Like, when you look at it, she ran away. Which means she went all the way from there. Crow's Perch. And she made all the way to Oxenfurt. Now, we don't even know where Anna is. We have no leads on Anna. Yet. Um, we have a couple things we can investigate. That'll probably lead us to Anna, but... We also have a ton of side quests that we're going to do maybe later in this episode, maybe in a, in like the next one. The next one I might dedicate to all the side stuff because we got a lot. Contracts, we got the Shrieker one and the Merry Widow. We got some Gwent stuff, this Fallen House, the Fall of House Reardon, Wild at Heart. We got a lot. We got into Fight Club last time, but we don't want to talk about that too much. We beat, we beat everybody, and by everybody, it was the one guy we fought. <laughs> so, yeah, we got a, we got a lot going on. I feel like, like, the pacing's really picking up in the story. Right, Witcher, when you find my daughter, will you give her this? Aw. A rag doll. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> Cloth doll. Uh, you know, that's kind of sweet. I'm listening. What do you come to me with? Uh, nothing. So long. Just wanted to ask more about the doll, but I guess, you know... You know, I think... Because he had, he had mentioned, like, he made a doll for her before. It matter where the oh, from. And what she she it? loved the doll. So I'm wondering if this is that type of doll or is it the same doll? He's hoping uh, we can trigger some memories in her. Some hope. Oh, we beat these two in Gwent last time, too. Uh, he was relatively easy. She threw down. Joanna. wow. She used the monster's deck. Oh, was not prepared for that. Werewolves and shit. God damn. It was super cool, though. It was really cool. Makes me honestly want to kind of <laughs> collect the monster deck cards. But... That is, that is something we will probably find along our way. But, seems like, seems like from what we heard, what we know, Mara's actually doing okay out there. Like, she's totally fine not being around her dad. Which I get his reputation and things that he has done. Probably... Not the best guy to be around with all the time, but, you know. Sorry, I just saw this drown like, dig into the dirt. Oof. Well, he made a mistake, guy. Oh yeah, and we got this badass sword. This thing, the Moonblade. Ah, this thing is so cool. Like, it, it's just a sword so far, but it's a relic, which is a rarity. You know, 
it just it's so cool it's so cool that we have we, we found a sword and it was just from exploring if we didn't do that where are they there you are if we didn't go out of our way to explore that we would have missed it <laughs> I oh Okay, you have an exclamation point. What is this? Ronvid of the Small Marsh. Halt! Stand in Jew! I challenge you! Boots a bit big, maybe? Careful not to trip. Halt, I say! I am Ronvid of the Small Marsh, bound by a sacred oath. Oh, that's rough. My sympathies. <laughs> God dear, to girl. honor made Bilbury fairest of all maids I know by dueling a hundred knights to the death. Now, draw your sword post haste, for I have knights in hand left after you. Oh my god. Okay, so this dude has to duel a hundred people to marry his girlfriend, and we're the first person he's fighting against. That is really... That is really not good, my guy. Uh because you're it is fighting to the death to the death which means he's gonna die on the first person he goes to yes I'm that confident we would murder him hmm why are you challenging me don't recall doing anything to offend the maid Bilberry well why um <clears throat> I'd swear swear maid Bilberry's the most loveliest of all thing is I've never laid eyes on her. Aha! Ah, I shall wash your scorn away with thy blood fiend. Stand and fight. My guy. What? Lost your nerve? Like, uh. I, please stop. Yeah, okay. I was like, I don't want to actually kill him. Yes. Luck stood with you. But, but the next time we meet. Next time. Challenge me again. Raise your hand, draw your sword, look at me the wrong way, and I'll kill you. You so sure of that? Yes. <laughs> we shall see. Oh my god, dude. I, I got you to the floor in like two moves. Embarrassing. Who the fuck is that guy? I swear to god, is, is that a quest now? Is that a thing? We're gonna come across this guy constantly? Maybe, who knows? I can't imagine it's the last time we're gonna find him. But, uh, anyway, we have to go to Oxenford. We're on our way there. Oh. Greetings! Wouldn't mind a look at your stock. Wouldn't mind a look at your stock. Farewell. Uh, okay. Greetings. That was weird. Wouldn't mind a look at your stock. I think we talked to this. Okay. Wouldn't mind a look at your stock. Okay, I guess we'll never see his stock. Farewell. It's unfortunate. I mean, all things considered, it's probably bugged out. Unfortunately. What? Faster. Oof. There is a place over here that had a question mark. That is on our way. So I figure we might as well check it out. Seems ominous. Oh. Huh. Whoa there, Roach. Oh, there looks to be monsters in here. Or people. Oh, it's a bandit camp. Alright, we're gonna take all their shit then. Fuck these guys. Um, I have a key. Just kidding. I wish that worked. <laughs> Alright. Alchemist power. We got a lot of stuff out of here. More stuff down there. Oof. <laughs> okay, uh... I feel I'm gonna... 
Been running with Igni for a bit. Oh my god. Is it stuck? Okay. Get him. Got. Oh, no. Oh, fucking roasted. Get fucked, guys. Guys, I mean, I know I kind of came in here, but also, oh, fuck. I never get used to that. It's so brutal. The execution. anything put that out I guess all right did you drop anything heavy mace water I just gotta take all your ass shit really whiff of igni nice see that hello pigs I know hmm where the good shit. Where do you guys keep the good stuff? Let's dance. Ooh. Wait, I want to see. Can I? Can I? I want to see if I can hard him off the. Oh, it's not that strong. Let's see if I can just like knock him off the edge. Shit. Okay. Fuck. <laughs> He's done. Alright, let's go, dude. Let's go. Alright, you're running the wrong way, but I guess I'll catch up. Yeah, y'all got fucked up. I have it upgraded so it actually mess it, it weakens their armor. Not that these guys are really wearing much, but whatever they are wearing, it's fragile. Oh. Is that everybody? Nope, I see you. You're all deserters. I wonder, what are you... Are you guys just, like... Raiding? Ruining other people's lives? I feel like we're getting... We're emptying this camp real fast. This is water wheel. There's so much shit we can take, honestly. Awesome bread. Nice. Guess uh We don't we don't really eat much. Or replace the Can we cook the meat? Is that a thing? But I'll replace it with the water for right now. Cause if we can cook the meat, I'll save it. Otherwise, we'll just eat the raw meat. <laughs> What is up here? See, there's that that building. It's locked, though. I wonder if that's where they're keeping the good shit. We just gotta get a just gotta get a key from somebody. Which that somebody could be well, really anybody. Oh, what's down here? Probably in somebody's, uh, on somebody's person. Oh, there was a... 
Oh, we got plenty of dwarven spirits now. Ooh. Nice. Diamond of Sap. Bell Longsword Diagram. A formula for Aether. A Morana Runestone. Yo, what? Okay, hold on. A lot of good shit. Let's see what that runestone could be used for. Ooh. It's down there. What are you guys doing here? What was another chest? This is the same chest. I'm a fool. <laughs> I spun around too much. Okay. Okay, for real? Um, I feel like we've, feel like we've gone through the whole thing. So for the Devil's Pit, literally, if you know, let me know in the comments if there's a way to actually get through the rest of that, or there's an, or there's some access on the outside. Let me know, and I will zip back here in a future video, and I will, I will do that because that uh, there's stuff we're missing. I just, uh, I just don't know where, and I don't want to, I don't want to hold off going to Oxenfurt too much. So, yeah, let me know, and I will for sure be swinging Slow back. Now. So we are. Move it. There's a key somewhere that I just didn't see, didn't find, or something. I swear, <laughs> but I checked everything. I looted everything. But, anyway, that's for the future now. To Oxenfur. Okay. This place does not seem great. Stonecutter still. Come on, Roach. Damn, this sucks. Shit. Wow, this place is. Yo, they're. This entire. This entire. Country. Is just struggling. And that is so sad. War. War never changes. What the f. This is so official. Damn, okay. This is aesthetically different. Some ships. Stone bridge. Magic music. Come on now. Oh, this is actually exciting. All right. Go to a city. No passage. Case of the plague surface in the city or something? The plague? Uh, no. We're to not let folk in the city. It's an order, so I don't. Unless someone's got a pass. Which we do, because we talked to the Baron first. Damn, that was such a good idea. Uh, who's, re who's restricted access to the city? Who ordered the city gates closed? Word is the king himself. Doesn't want paupers and refugees pissing all over his beautiful city. Ah. Apart from which, when folk can go hither and thither, always a chance some spy will slink through. This way, spies got it harder. So that's so, what it really is. No pass, no passage. It's about spies. Oh shit. The way they're like surrounding. Okay, sure. Just walk right past us. What kind of pass are we talking about? What kind of pass are we talking about? Well, a normal one. A transit pass. Who issues them? How should I know? I'm a lowly soldier. <laughs> okay, well, the, the Bloody Baron gave us one, so... This what you mean? Let me look at that. Mm-hmm. Uh, missing a seal. The red one. Impossible. Department of Civil Defense forgot again. They're really off their heads these days. Happens. So be it. You may come through. Oh, hey. Whew. 
Let's like, all right. <laughs> like, we gotta go to like the public office and wait in line. Oh, Roach. Let's go. Oh, this is so cool. Going to the city. Oh, this looks so nice. I wonder, could we have gotten in without the pass? Or it would have made it just harder? Oh, this is so cool. Like, nothing's happened yet, but it's just like... Bunch of clowns. Damn, look at the, the aesthetic here. I love it. Not so still, fast, Roach. For the time that this came out, this still looks great. Looking to make some coin too, hey. <sighs> this is so nice. And it's so kinda interesting seeing this not that far from the other towns which are actually messed up. <laughs> Did we actually buy from you guys? Guess not. That's okay. So the world turns another another board. Oh boy. Beware of trolls. Oh boy. Caution. A troll has been seen and heard to the east of Oxenfurt on the left bank of the Pontar. Said troll has been known to sing Redanian marching tunes. It is suspected this is part of some Novgardian diversion tactic. It is recommended that this area be avoided until the appropriate branch of His Majesty's services can be taken can take care of the problem. In the event of an encounter with the troll, it is recommended to remain immobile, keeping low to the ground and covering one's head with one's arms. There exists a chance that the beast will not then attack, for it will mistake the potential victim thus situated for a rock. Berto Bertolomeo, captain of the garrison. So this is a troll. I wonder if we can go intervene and stop that. Uh, contract mox monster in Oxenfurt. By orders of our most magnanimous ruler, King Radovid the Fifth. Right, the fifth, or it's not V. Any internet monster slaying reading this notice is obliged. Monster slayer reading this notice. I'm sorry, words are struggle right now for some reason. Obliged to abandon any currently unresolved contracts immediately and devote himself to tracking and slaying this monster. The beast in question has befouled the cradle of human intellect, the city within whose territory lies the oldest academies of learning, namely Oxenford. So, Oxenford Academy? The swordsman who puts an end to its criminal doings will be rewarded with the king's full generosity, commander of the Oxenford City Regiment. Ooh. We make some good money with that one. Contract Beast in the Oxenford Forest. If you know no fear and seek work, read this notice, for the call contained therein will be of great interest to you. On Sidorus. Sidaris. Sir, soldier of fortune and veteran of many wars, hereby makes known the following. Being greatly concerned about the fate of the local peasantry, which suffers horribly from the attacks of some monster nesting in the forest near Oxenford, I've decided to grant a purse of Novigrad crowns to the man who slays this beast. Yet, may it be known that any man who comes to me without a trophy shall receive no gold, but instead shall be tossed out in his arse. So hard, he shan't sit again till the end of his days. Hans Sidaris, world famous soldier of fortune, veteran of numerous wars, honored member, of the Order of the Lily. All right, so another contract. Another contract, Woodland Beast. Damn, they. Like, I know you guys said it, and I've been I've been trying to make sure I check every board. But they really load the boards with quests. Like, for real. I I am keeping extra care to make sure to pay attention to them. Now. And forever. Contract with them beast. Let the following be known far and wide. 
There's some monster in the woods outside Novigrad doing great damage to our war effort. Anyone who tracks it down and kills it will not only fulfill a patriotic duty and bring the inevitable victory of the United Northern Forces under the leadership of our brave King Radovid one step closer, but we'll also get a sizable coin reward as a recomp recompense for his trouble. Together, onward to victory, Captain Felix Grubb. Addendum note, the reward has not yet been claimed. Addendum attention, if the monster is not killed by the end of the present month, taxes for the entire region will be raised by one-fifth. Fuck, not the taxes. We gotta kill this beast. Careful, there's a swindler about. Attention, countrymen, don't get taken in by the platitudes and false prophecies dealt in by a certain so-called soothsayer dwelling in Benkelham. That's a hell of a name, Benkelham. This man calls himself a sage and knows as much about divining the future as, <laughs> as any toothless village hag, and all he truly cares about is extracting coin from the unwary. Don't let him cheat you, but only encourage him. Felipe Canalia, fifth year student in the faculty of medicine and herbology at Oxenford Academy. It's a swindler. Gwent, play around with Step, Skip on, Stepin, Skippin. Beat every, beat everyone you've ever played in Gwent. Consider yourself a prime player, ready to face the best of the best. Then try your hand against Stepin. Man is so good, it seems the cards play themselves. To learn more, come to the uh, Alchemy Inn, in Oxenford. It's fun, Barkeep. Ooh. The barkeep. A <laughs> challenger? That'll be us. But it seems... It seems we have perchance located... Where she is. Hmm. Okay, like literally look at this ship. This is so cool. It's like... Wow, fancy. I... Okay, rude. First off, dick. Uh, just so cool. I feel like we get close to that ship and they'll shoot us. Maybe, maybe not. Oh, this is not. This is saying it. Is it here? Oh. I'm looking for Tamara, the bloody Baron's daughter. Your brother said I'd find her here. Voitex sent you, sir. How else would I know she was here? Wait a moment. I'll fetch her straight away. Damn, everyone's in on it. Everyone's in on her trying to get out. <laughs> this cat. God, the cats hate us. You're looking for me, and who might you be? My father sent you. Yeah to see if you're still alive, and well. I'm Geralt of Rivia. I'm quite alive and extraordinarily well, Geralt of Rivia. Better than I've ever been in this rotten life of mine, and now that you've seen me, I bid you farewell. Wait. Wow, okay. We've nothing more to talk about. This is a little fucking rude. Father's worried about you. I don't blame you. These are both believable. These are both true. But I kind of want him, her, <laughs> I kind of want her to know that he is worried about her. Got every right to be angry at your father, but he's worried about you. I have a right. Thank you kindly. So good to have the approval of his hired thug. And my father worries only about what to get soused on next. Oof. I mean, yeah, he, he kind of is, he's a bit of a jackass. Yeah, <laughs> but... You know, he, he did kind of pump the brakes on almost everything to look for you. He's no saint, that's clear. But he's got the whole province on its feet looking for you. Finding you and your mother seems to me there's nothing more important to him now. I know evil men. He's not one of them. Shame he <laughs> never showed such concern before. Especially for my mother. He made a mistake and knows that. I'm not defending him, just saying that maybe he's come to realize what he's done, and what you mean to him. Oh, wonderful. I'll bear that in mind. Did you really come all the way here just to tell me that? I mean... I guess. <laughs> but no, it's not it. Um, 
I these, but I also want to know. I want to hear her side of the story, actually, unfiltered by him. What? What? Cause she seems really upset. Before I agreed to look for you, your father told me his version of events. Tell me yours. Mine? It's dull as life amidst the swamps. My earliest memories are of a drunken father lying under the stairs, caked in mud and clutching a bottle. Next dozen years, Damn. pretty much the same. Father would drink, disappear for days, then come home in a rage and send furniture flying. Thank the gods for war, I was glad every time they sent him off. And the quarrels. I remember him screaming at mum, the thuds as he beat her, then her sobbing. I'd hide under my bed and long for silence. That's the long and short of it. Multiply by 19 and there you have my life. Finally, we'd had enough, mum and me. He crossed the line and we fled. Fuck. Ouch. Ah, shit. <clears throat> Why'd your mother miscarry? What happened to your mother? That's a... Like... I'm pretty sure... That's a weird thing to ask, like, her daughter, right? But... Uh... I do... Well, maybe she knows what happened to... To Anna. Wojtek claims your mother had strange marks on her hands, and that a monster dragged her into the woods. That true? We were riding towards the river. Suddenly, Mum cried out, bent over, almost fell off her horse. I rode up to her and saw something strange. Her hands were on fire. And then that creature leapt from the woods. I don't know what it was, but it roared so fierce my nose bled. I saw it topple trees. I've never been so scared in my life. And that, oh my god. That thing grabbed my mum and disappeared into the woods. I wanted to turn back, go after them, but the horses panicked. Now I don't even know if she's alive. Oh my god. What the fuck? Holy shit. Okay. So it is true. She did get snatched by a monster and dragged into the woods. Uh, what will you do now? Why'd your mother miscarry? I want to ask, but it's also like... Do I... Is that going to make things worse? Is it going to make things weird? Uh, God damn it. What do you do now? What will you do now? Find my mum. You realize that might not be that easy. Don't worry, I'm not daft enough to believe I can do it alone. I've got some new friends now. Powerful friends. They'll help me. Right. Who are these friends? What about your father? I want, bo I want answers to both of these questions. But yeah, who are these friends? I, I... Who are these friends, if it's not a secret? No secret. Heard of the Church of the Eternal Fire? A priest helped me contact the Redanian witch hunters. Righteous, brave men. They'll help me. Hence Righteous. the candlesticks in your room. So you believe in the Eternal Fire? Once the heat of the fire has set your heart aflame, it gives you strength and leads you down the path of truth for the rest of your life. I hope it'll bless you with its warmth one day. Thanks. Thing is, fire's tricky. It's easy to get burned. Okay, cool. We can ask about both. Ah, uh, the chi. Oh no, she drank the Kool-Aid. Oh boy. What about your father? Who? Oh, him. I don't care. I won't go back to him. That bit of my life? Forgotten it already. Well, well. Damn. <laughs> a witcher. Never thought the Baron would stoop to hiring a monster slayer. Though I hear you're good at tracking things down. Uh, yeah. The fuck are you? Glad you know who I am. Haven't introduced yourself, though. Grad. <clears throat> witch hunter in the service of His Royal Majesty Radovid of Redania. I'm certain you've heard of us. Rings a bell. If the bloody Baron sent you to fetch his daughter, you'd best face it. You will fail in your task. I appreciate your concern, but I don't need it. As for Tamara, she can make her own decisions. Hmm. <coughs> Noble of you. 
a killer for hire abandoning his bounty for the good of another. The hunters and the Church of the Eternal Fire thank you. So the Baron hired a witcher to find his daughter. Interesting. Is it? Is that so weird? <laughs> <clears throat> Baron's desperate. Desperate fathers have been known to do a lot to find their daughters. Unexpected from a witcher. <coughs> I thought your mutations cleansed you of humanity. Stripped you of emotions. You don't need mutations to strip men of their humanity. I've seen plenty of examples. Damn. Damn. Got him with that one. That's so true, though. Fuck. This dude's coughing left and right like... You good, dude? Where are you going to take her? Tamara must rest. She's had a harrowing experience. When the warmth of the eternal fire has restored her strength, we shall see about finding her mother. Before you go, your father asked me to give you this. Clara? Father told you to give me Clara. Funny how he thought to buy me back with a memory. Tell him one gesture could never make up for a ruined childhood. So long, Witcher. In spite of all, I'm... Well, I'm grateful you gave me a choice. Didn't force me to go back to the tyrant. Hope you know what you're getting yourself into. So long, and good luck. Damn. Oh, his name is Nibbles. Hey, Nibbles. Damn. Ah. <sighs> God damn it. That sucks. So maybe I take here, I guess. <laughs> I'll read these at some point. I'll remember them. Oh god, that sucks. She's not gonna go back. Uh, but now we've like really seen her we've heard her side of the story now. You know, so I'm gonna pick that up in a second, don't worry. We've heard her side and how he, he really did, uh, really abused his wife. Just, it was really fucking sad. And her childhood was, like, miserable because that was just, she grew up with that. <laughs> ah, damn. Fucking sucks. Oh, hello. Don't mind me. Just gonna go into your room, I guess. <laughs> Pardon me. Ugh. So he's not gonna be happy that she's not coming home. But I feel bad, like... I don't want him to make any, like, rash decisions. You know? But then, he, he does probably just, maybe, just wants to make sure that she's okay. Because she is okay. I mean, she joined, she joined up with the Church of Eternal Fire and Witch Hunters. So I don't really know how that's going to go. Because, it, uh, it's sketchy. They don't seem inherently evil, but they're not... I mean... Who, who knows how this could really go. But, uh, there's this letter. All is prepared. We await for your arrival. When I told the commander of your commitment and zeal, he agreed to welcome you into our ranks at, fir at once. At first, you will be put through preliminary training and you already know how to ride and wield a blade. And thus have already mastered the essentials. The rest will not take much time. As soon as you don our colors, we will set out in search of your mother, and we will find her. I promise. Even if we have to comb every inch of Velen. I hope... I hope that that's really their commitment. Because... She does... Long live she does care about her mother. That is... that is for sure. Ugh. Shit. Rough, well. rough times. Yeah. What can I do with you for? 
If I ain't got it today, say the word and I'll have it tomorrow. Oh, that's useful. Hoping for a round of cards? Oh, we could still get some Gwent in. Let me see. Might pick something. Just before it's over. Uh, sell. I will never use one of those out of respect. Get rid of you. What is this? Chance to poison. That's what the Morana Stone is. Ooh. Paint. I need to complete a quest. We'll take it. I don't know who needs paint, but we're buying it. Uh, you know what? Let's do a, let's do some Gwent. Let's go. Let's get money. Wanted to play cards. Doubt we need to wait till tomorrow. Why not? This is the card we got from him. Sig Sigmund Dijkstra. Sigismund Dijkstra. Dijkstra. He's a spy. Place on your opponent's battlefield counts towards your opponent's total, but we draw two cards. Okay, so it's similar to the one we already have. Hmm. Uh, I kind of want to put him in our in our deck. He's a. He counts towards the opponent's cards. So I'm gonna replace Prince Dennis then. We'll see how this goes. Hmm. These got some of these, this guy, and clear weather. Uh I might hang on to the clear weather. Just because he is also running the Northern Realms, so his his shit could get tricky on us. But we'll start We'll start easy. There's a lot more Gwent in this game than I thought there was. <laughs> okay. I six, then we'll uh throw out her. Um, I'll throw out this. Okay. I kind of want to save this guy, actually. I was going to use him. But I can, uh, I can work with this. We reduce both down. Because uh, I was thinking using a fog, right? That would just reduce both of ours. His by four, mine by three. Put him at 12. Mine will also be at 12. Right? Is that how math works? Yeah. But, see, that's the thing. It was a bait. It was baiting him into using it. Get your clear weather card out of the way. I'll let him take the win on this one. But now. Now's where we turn this around. You got okay, and then who are you bringing back? Of course, can't say I'm terribly surprised. All right, bring out our ballista. It's because he can draw cards, of course. Okay, we'll throw ours out there. You also have that. That's funny. Interesting. You know what? We'll throw ours down too. We are still winning, but... 
interesting. Okay. We'll take the win. Caution. I don't know how this is going to go. So we, he still has eight cards and we have seven. Oh. Oh, we'll throw this out there. That puts us at six. Ah, oh, you're only at five. All right. Ten to five, we're winning. Ten to ten. Ten to ten. Oh, you bitch. we do that, though. I just got, I'm trying to bait the rest of his cards out. <laughs> Let's go. Uh, throw that down. Honestly, good thing I waited to use this. What, is this for any card? Swap a Swap with a card on the battlefield to return it to your hand. Okay. We're gonna use the clear weather. And I can only hope that this is really gonna work out for us. Oh no. Okay, you know what? We're passing. We're passing and just gotta hope he doesn't have some nonsense. He only has two cards. Ah, bitch! Yeah, we got him! Nice. God, we're just taking money. Taking crowns left and right. Ooh. Have a car smuggler. I have to do some. Yo, we got 200. We got fucking money now. Hell yeah. Shit. What do we do now? Well, obviously we have a lot of options. Because we still have some side quests we could do here. We have to go back to him, but... There was, um... Was it? I think it was a con- it was a contract. That's right. Let's see, uh... Linden Vale... There's like the beast of something. The creature of Oxenford Forest, that's right, and the Oxenford Drunk. Carol Bless is hard to decide to investigate the matter, suspecting the responsible party might be a monster. Level 26, level 35. Oh, God. So many. So many things stacked up. Where is this located? relatively close to that? Not even. Not even slightly. Okay. So... We're over here. All the things that we have to do are back... Oh, we have to go to the inn at the crossroads, because there is a fight there that we can win. Part of the side quest. Then, we can go to the board here and collect more stuff on our way back to Crow's Perch. Um... I guess uh, it's just it's a lot of we could explore these I don't know how complicated that's gonna get though yeah we'll uh we'll go for it a little bit why not you know we'll go for it do a little bit of exploring since we've come all the way out here you know might as well that was a windmill Let's, uh, yeah. What do we got? Let's see, is it... Is it easier to just take the boat? Oh, I'll have to take the boat, or I swim. Oh. There's some part of the boat that we sit down in? 
Oh, here we go. Cool. Boats. With its raging rivers, deep oceans, and broad lakes nestled in mountain valleys, the world contains many areas inaccessible on foot or horseback. To get to them, you must either swim or sail. Look for boats along shorelines at locations marked with the harbor with the anchor symbol. Be careful if your boat smashes into rocks or other obstacles, it become damaged and might even sink. Okay, so we actually gotta be careful. Here we go. Or, oh, okay, we're off. We're off. That's so cool, we can actually sail around. Well, they're not like our personal boats, you know. It's still cool. Now... Okay, so it's a little bit... A little bit to the side. We can fast travel on boats to, uh, to harbors. That's cool. What the fuck is that? A basilisk? Oh my god. Oh my god, no, no thank you. Oh shit. Yo, can we fucking not? Holy crap. Oh, I'm dead. I'm gonna bleed. I'm dead. Oh my god! Holy shit, what? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Alright, so that was, uh, way hard. That, like, that, that area is, uh, probably, probably not for us right now. Probably not. It, it didn't even have a level, it was just two question marks. That, that shit hit us once. We not only took out, it not only took out, like, all of our health. But then it made us bleed out for what little we did have left. So... Shit. Fucking ouch. This place is dangerous. Shit. I wanted to explore, but now it's gonna kill us. If we try to. Hmm. Oh shit. Barber. Can we get a haircut? Can we... Touch up these, these this look. Greetings, master. What can I do for you? Got a razor and shears? Good. Make me look decent. Ah, uh, come on, girl. You look decent already. Uh, what kind of haircuts can we get? The elven rebel cut: shaved on the sides, short on top, and a ponytail. Loose. Not too long, long and loose, shaved except for a ponytail. Shaved on the sides, short on top, and a ponytail. <sighs> you know what? Let's see what this looks like. <clears throat> It'll grow back. I'm sure, right? Nah, nah, that ain't it. That ain't it. That ain't it, guys. Uh, yeah, we're not doing that one. Sorry. Um. Shaved except for a ponytail? That that sounds absolutely not okay. Uh, loosely gathered, tied behind my head. <laughs> wow, it's almost... God, his ability... This, this barber's ability... To like warp time is incredible. Uh, what is the Elven Rebel cut? Oh, well, aren't you fancy? Shaved except for a ponytail. What could, you know what, let's just look at, uh, we're dropping, we're dropping too much money right now anyway. <laughs> I want all the Gwent games just to afford a haircut. You know, that's actually not that bad. You know, that actually, that's a good look. We're going to keep that one. Let's see, want to be clean shaven, full beard, trim short, bushy goatee, and a short mustache, please. Full, friendly mutton chops sound good. 
Want a mustache and a soul patch. My god, the fact that they give you these options. Good lord. I don't want to be clean shaven. But I'm wondering if like, the full beard is just like what he has already. Uh... Think right? Let's just see what it looks like. If it's the same thing, then we're good. We're good. I just... The, the beard just looks good on Geralt. Okay, actually, there we go. You know what? We're keeping this. We're so keeping this. Damn, look at that. God, fucking fresh. Hell yeah. Ready to take on the world. That's right. 100%. My god. Where are you guys? We saw you on our way in here. Horson's henchman? Mutant. Shoot. Horson's henchman. Great. I don't know who the fuck that is, but. You're in front of a gate, so is he in charge of this place? I just want to see what it looks like. Like, is this like his estate? Oof. Okay. Well, that's enough of that. That boat is underwater. That's unfortunate. All right. Now, now what we're gonna do? Um. And yeah. So we have some stuff. We have some stuff that we're gonna have to do. There's going to be a lot of traveling around Velen. Because I think we have only the one treasure hunt still, which we got to go back for, and we will at some point. But that's in Novigrad. Um, got some contracts. Got some other stuff. We have to return back to the Baron to let him know that uh, his daughter has probably joined a cult. Doesn't want to come home. So that's going to be exciting. We're going to continue that on the next episode. So thank you everybody so much for watching. Thank you. See? Not all Gwent, but we got one in. We're getting... We're, we're building up our repertoire at our inventory of cards. We're gonna get a really good deck at some point. I mean, we're kicking ass with this one. So far. And it's really, it's really working out for us. But, um... We can do better. We got some more challenging people out there, I'm sure. And also, we gotta break the news to the Baron, which is gonna be really sad and depressing. And really sucks. The way his uh, his daughter feels, but it makes sense. I don't blame her either. You know, if if you know that's how you grew up, it be pretty shitty. So I get it. I guess she wants to leave. Doesn't want anything to deal with it anymore. But then the Baron's, you know, sort of coming to terms with the realization of what he's done too. So every everybody's kind of everyone's dealing with it. Just sucks. But we also gotta go find Anna. Wherever she is. Anna. Or Anna. But till then. Thank you everybody once again. Really appreciate it. We'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.